I was born on January 4th, 1643, in Wolfshaw, Lincolnshire, England. I was very weak at birth, and most did not believe me to live. When I was five years old, I went to a village school. After about six years, I went to Grantham, a town seven miles away, and I went to King's School. I ran into many bullies at this new school. Eventually, I beat up a bully, leaving him hurt and weakened, and me at the top of the class. From about 12 to 16 years old, I worked in a wood shop with Mr. Clark. I learned how to build many things, most including most being made out of wood. I was even able to make a windmill that actually worked. When I was 16, I came home with my mother because she wanted me to be a farmer. I left King's School. I loved it there and I did not want to be a farmer. I want to study. She wanted me to work at home in a field and forget everything else, leave everything else behind. But me, I said no, and I went to college in 1661 in Cambridge at a school named Trinity College. When I was 22 years old, 1665, I had got my Bachelor's of Arts degree in Cambridge. Around the time in the 1660s, the Great Plague of Britain goes into effect. Cambridge is closed down and I am sent home. When I was home, I studied and studied. I experimented with colors and gravity and what it meant. And also, this studying at home led me to many of my greatest accomplishments in later life. In 1667, Cambridge reopens, and I return back, and I am given a fellowship, which means I am basically paid at a wage to just study. I also develop an improved version of the reflecting telescope. In 1689, I ran for parliament, and I ended up winning a seat for a year. In 1696, I was given the job of Warden of the Mint. I recall all of the British coins so they can be replaced with new ones. And then in 1700, I am appointed Master of the Mint. In 1703, I was elected President of the Royal Society of London. I published my writings on my early experiments with light in a book called Optics. On March 31st, 1727, 85 years old, Sir Isaac Newton, I, sadly, passed away. I was buried at the famous Westminster Abbey graveyard. I shall be missed.